I know Fistlin looking at me with evil eyes. Do you need anything from me? Buy me more jewelry! Well... <laughs> Let's... Wait, was that was that a reference to that old thing online? It, what video? was it, ASDF or something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, I've not watched that in years. <laughs> we we wa we I don't know. Every few months now, we've we've just been watching it for no reason, just like the entire thing. They always go to conventions like, every time Tom is at those conventions. That's awesome. Yes. Hmm. I'd like to meet them sometime. That'd be cool. Uh. Okay. Oh. What? I was gonna say I will meet them and send you a video. Do it. Them Do it. Okay. Let's see in my room after dinner, shall we? Oh. Do you really invite me? Sort of. Oh. It's the wine. Okay then. I she, ruffled her hair. She put aphrodisi aphrodisiacs in the wine. Aphrodisiacs. That's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey. Don't even do that all of a sudden. She quickly rose and left for her room. Apparently, she went to count her coins. It's interesting. Did she manage to confiscate a part of Shan's gold? Having a great deal of good wine is splendid. Having drunk a great amount of alcohol, I decided to breathe some fresh air. I feel a bit dizzy. Yeah, you drank a whole lot of, like, we don't know what wine. Drug wine. Poisoned. Drug wine. Having looked up at the dark sky, I thought about the coming day. I hope Shan's wolves are not too aggressive, and they are not about to cause many problems. Having a break from the drunken wine, I decided to go to Lynn. It's interesting, why did she call me to her place? For a little bump and grind. Mm -hmm. Is anything wrong, Lynn? The girl sitting on the bed and looking at the picture. Having heard my voice, she turned to my side. No, nothing happened. Is she naked or is that a flesh-colored dress? I think I'm I I've, I've been wondering the same thing. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at right now. If she's naked, she has no nips. I think it's a flesh-colored dress. I, <laughs> I just thought you will hardly be busy after that terrible gal leaves and maybe you would like to spend one evening with me in that case. I have nothing against. I am sick and tired of sitting in my room alone. But you have never called for me earlier. Moreover, you were against it when I was in your room. Don't you remember that? Lynn, confused. Probably I shouldn't have spoken in that manner. You're right, get out. <laughs> now I would like to speak with you about what will happen further in the capital. What will we do there? As far as I remember, you've mentioned, if I am a good boy, that everyone forgets about my father's crimes and I will live free, more or less, right? Yes, but there is another offer. Lynn significantly blushed. She blushed so that it seemed that to me that she got sick again. We're gonna have to get married, aren't we? You're sick, Lynn. Ugh! You probably know that my family wasn't pleased too much with the fact that I joined the Guardians of the Emperor. Definitely, my papa always wanted his people to surround the Emperor, but he planned something else for me. I mean, a good marriage, for example. No. He wasn't that against my service, thinking it'll harden me. But there is a fact why I really joined the Guardians. The reason is you. I made that in order to make you angry. Please, take your responsibilities. I don't... I'm confused. Egg, what? <laughs> what? What did you want? Did, did you want me to get angry? What? You went to serve in the army. However, you could stay in the castle. Why did you do that? I was disappointed with your decision. And you decided to choose the Guardian's back. Hem. I thought it was quite thoughtful of, uh, quite... <laughs> Let me start that again. <clears throat> Hem. I thought it was the quite thoughtful step of your father. Well, I mean, to make his family stand close to the Emperor. And it was quite otherwise. <laughs> I can't believe that. I'm not sure what's happening. I don't understand. <laughs> 
I could hardly seize my laughing. Lynn, who has already who has been already nervous, blushed even more. Why is she blushing? I'm so confused. Have because he can't. Go on, sir. <laughs> have you had a good fun? And now, as I have mentioned, please take the situation into your arms. And me too. I mean, I. Her name. Okay. Is it like Geordie Shaw, where her name is Lynn? The situation. I, d I don't. I don't know. But I can oh. see booty. Damn. I'm. I don't think I need to edit that out, right? Ah, it's booty. I mean, there's a piece of the dress that's covering it. It's fine. It's just art. Yeah. Tasteful boob. And has. Kang has no eyes. And... No eyes. Wait, so maybe it's like a really see-through dress? Maybe, but I think I feel like we'd be able to see her nips. I mean, we can see her butt crack through the dress. Why can't we see her nips? Ah, uh, unrealistic beauty examples for women in games. Mm. Wait, we didn't even get to see them do it! Wait, what? I'm still on- she threw herself on my neck and threw me onto the bed. Wait, what? Oh, you're- are you on demonic again? No. No, no, no. What? Now no. I've skipped through it. I hadn't read that line out, was all. Oh. Oh, it's because I was too I was too busy looking at the butt. Well, I can't blame you for that. There you go. I just skipped by it without noticing. Having right. woken up, I had a snack and went to meet Shan near Alberon. <laughs> All right. Got some sex. Now let's go to eat. Woo. <laughs> and fight giant ants. I mean, who doesn't eat after sex, really? I usually go to sleep. Oh. I mean, I guess, I guess everybody has their own thing. <laughs> well, I've never gotten up thought. <laughs> now is the time to be cooking whilst naked. <laughs> yes. Just like an apron. That's it. Oh, yeah. I could be like the anime waifu. Just in a little apron. Naked, mm. otherwise. It reminds me of um, Deers. I don't know if you've seen that one, but it's just like a bunch of like alien sex slaves or whatever. And this one, like, high schooler gets one, I guess, and she doesn't understand clothing, so she's, like, naked with an apron, just, like, cooking breakfast. I have <laughs> it's not just, seen like, this. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, despite the fact that that's a bunch of, like, female sex aliens or whatever, it's, it's well, actually really good. Hold on, you had me at female sex aliens. I think I'll watch it. You, you should. <laughs> it's only, like, 12 episodes anyways, so. Diaz. Make a note of it. Do it, do it. Uh, okay. And here comes the human being. And these are my brothers. Can see where you get your good looks. <laughs> Shan pointed to the side of dark grey and black wolves standing near the main pack. Punk wolves! Yeah, punk wolves! Are they blood related? <laughs> Shan became a little gloomy, as if she considered this question confusing her. No, this naming is commonly accepted here. The younger brother is called Rowul, and the elder is called our crew. Rowul! <laughs> what strange names! Does your name also have an additional word? No, I am the daughter of the leader. Yeah, it was a stupid question. Mm. Oh, I see. By the way, I am interested. Quite long, are there others in your pack also werewolves, or are they your wolf subordinates? Shan's ears angrily moved. It seems my questions irritate her. But I won't have another chance to ask, and I need to learn more about those who made us almost freeze in these lands. Yes, they are the ones you're calling now werewolves. However, it's not the right time and place for transformation. They need to be ready. I see. Thank you for quenching my curiosity. I want to see her as just the wolf. Go back into your wolf form. Do it now. Boop Do it! Nose. We made it the path through the chasm. Now you're able to go further without any problems. I've made ointment, Mr. Kang. Uh, good for you. <laughs> I made an ointment! That's it. <laughs> Just sitting there happily. Do, 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 do. It'll protect you against the acid ants. Also, it will help the, with skinning. No, skin. What? Skinning? Yeah. It yeah, will help with it's... skinning over if you have small wounds. It makes oh. no sense. 
healing. I get, I get skinning it. Skinning over is now the word for healing. Yep, skinning over. Got it. In order to express my gratitude for finding this tiny crystal, I would also like to give you some elixir that will help you when the situation gets critical. You won't be bleeding and feel lightness in your body. We got a phoenix down. Oh. But please, use it only when extra necess necessity really comes, Mr. Kang. All of these words what? are tripping me up. <laughs> Why should I use it only in case of extra necessity? <laughs> the ingredients are very rare, and when there are no extra needs, I would prefer to keep it. Besides, I am not quite sure how it will be applied for an unprepared man. Okay. Also, are we just going to gloss over the fact that we have no idea what the wine did to us? But I, mm, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess, maybe, maybe, maybe it'll be something that'll happen here. I, I, I don't know. Our legs are going to fall off. All right. <laughs> I hope the situation won't be so serious that I will have to drink it. Maybe it's going to be like, um, like in mythology when Hades forced Persephone to eat the pomegranate seeds and then she couldn't leave. Well, we have to stay here forever now. For yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> damn Just... snow witches and their wine. <laughs> May smiled and stretched the tiny sack onto the strap. So, also, please take these shining rocks. The radius of illumination is not worse than my magic fireball had. And besides, it will hardly make those insects angry. She's got some uh, pebbles and painted them with luminous paint. That's it. Shining rocks. What should I do if those ants become really insolent? Throw the rocks. <laughs> then you should draw back, Mr. Kang, especially if you run across their nest, because the best forces will attack you to protect their queen. I see, then I'll go, okay? Good luck, Mr. Kang. We're so dead. Yep. What did we get? Some shiny rocks and an ointment. <laughs> Great tools. Prepared, man. So prepared. <laughs>